Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to look at expense claims. Now, expense claims are quite handy when, for whatever reason, an employee has had to go out and spend their own money to buy goods or pay for anything for the business. So it might be maybe you had a problem with your bank card or, or whatever it may be, but they've had to use their own money to pay for something for the business that then needs to be reimbursed back to them. So to do this, you go to business and down to expense claims. Now there is a newer version of this on Zero called Zero Expense or Zero Expenses, but um, and you can see it here. And there's the button there to try it, and that offers a bit more functionality um, as as well as being able to take photos and send them direct to Zero and that sort of thing. So it's quite handy. Uh, you do have to pay extra for that, but in this video we're not talking about Zero Expenses. We're talking about the <clears throat> included free module of expense claims which can still do everything you need it to do. So we're gonna to go to add receipt. So the employee has gone out, they've spent their own money and then they've provided you with a receipt. So we'll go add receipt. And we're going to say receipt from new supplier. We'll just make it up. And the date, we'll say the 25th of August. Um, employee, Joe Blogs, paid for uh, catering supplies for meeting. So our employee, Joe Blogs, has had to go out and use his own money to pay for some food that is going to be used for catering for a meeting. So in here, we're just going to go quantity and he spent, let's just say, $100. The account, catering, GST on expenses, and we're going to save that. So we've got $100. 909 GST. Okay, so the receipt is saved for $100. And then you can see down here in our current claim list, we have a new supplier, receipt date, enter date, items, still a draft. And then up here you can see awaiting authorization, awaiting payment, archive so we're going to click into this or rather we're going to select that and we're going to go submit for approval you've selected one item to submit for approval an expense claim with one receipt has been submitted for approval so this then goes through to whoever has access to approve reimbursements And we can see here, waiting authorization one. So now the person who has the ability and the access to uh, uh, approve reimbursements can go in and have a look at it. Status is awaiting review. All the details here. We can delete it. We can accept and we can or approve and we can also decline. So we're gonna approve this because we're happy with it, we've seen the receipt, and it is what it is. If we click into it, there is also the opportunity here to attach the receipt. We can upload the file, or we can add it from the library. You'd probably upload it if you have it on your computer. But anyway, we'll approve it. Okay. So now, we have an approved receipt here, status approved, and down the bottom here, authorized expense claim. Now that it has been approved, it can be authorized. So you can put a due date in here, but you don't have to. 
We're just going to put the receipt date in as the reporting date, 25th of August. And we're going to authorize that. So it's been approved, it's been authorized for payment, and now it just has to be paid. So now we can see here we've got one item in the awaiting payment. We're going to click into it. We can still view the details here if we click into the actual item, but we're all happy with it. We've seen it. We've attached the receipt. So now we're going to go and pay it. So it's saying amount paid $100, paid on the 29th of the 8th, and it was paid from a business transaction account. And we mark that as paid. So now we can see there's nothing awaiting authorization, nothing awaiting payment. If we go to previous claims, we can see it there, $100. Now that we've marked it as paid in zero, we need to go and actually pay it in our net banking. So we go and pay it online. And then when we go into our bank rec tomorrow, we're going to see the $100 coming out and we're going to be able to match that to this item here. So now that $100 that was spent by this employee for catering supplies with the employee's own money will now show up in the P&L for the business because the business has now reimbursed that employee and that expense is now a business expense. Now we'll go back to current claim. So we're going to do another one here. This time an employee has gone out and bought some fuel. Employee paid for fuel. Our fuel goes to motor vehicle expense. That's our expense category for that. But nothing's coming up here. It gives you an option to add a new account from the list here. But I know that there is an account for motor vehicle expense, but it's not showing up in the list. So what you have to do to remedy that is, you have to go into your, let's open up another tab. Accounting, chart of accounts. Do a search to bring up the account you're looking for. There it is, motor vehicle expense. Click into that. And the reason why it's not showing up here, nothing's coming up, is because this box here isn't ticked. You need to tick show in expense claims and then save that. Come back here. You might have to do a refresh. And then once you've done that, you'll be able to pick up that particular account in here. So that's how you add accounts that you already have, but aren't showing up in your expense claim list. And that's pretty much it guys, just a real quick video there to show you the expense claim module. A very handy way when employees uh, might have to use their own money for whatever reason, and you have to reimburse them to bring that expense onto the company books and get the employee reimbursed. If you want to book in a training session, hit us up in the, the description, I'll leave a link. We can organize a tailored training session to walk you through exactly what it is you want to do in Zero. Anything you might be unsure of, we can help you get things to where they need to be. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you enjoyed or if you learned anything from the video, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button. And we'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.